Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this Pick Up Our Reading with Charms. Now I'm super excited because earlier today I did a reading for the Angel family members of the channel and it was so powerful. I really want to do one with the same cards for everyone just to see what messages come through and you know what powerful things are going on. So we're using three decks of cards. For the first deck of cards we're using the Angel Guide Oracle by Kyle Gray. Now these are going to bring in a powerful angel message for you to really let you know what the angels want to say to you about your journey right now and also to give you some guidance about how to handle what's going on. We're going to use the Cat's Inspirational Oracle cards to bring in a message from your spirit animal, something you need to know and be aware of. And we're going to bring in the Eternal Messages by the Pretty Psyche to bring in a message from your person. So a bit of a DM to the F reading for you too in this or a message from your person if you are just watching this to see, you know, what you need to know. So thank you, angels. Let's see what the messages are. And if you're a member of the channel, you get a double whammy. So it'd be really interesting if the same kind of cards come out that you chose in your pile. So let's do the piles then. So pile one, can we have an angel message, please, for pile one? An angel message for pile one. An angel message for pile two. And an angel message for pile number three. An angel message for pile number three. Thank you, angels. And that one on the top too. I feel like there's another card. Try and come out. Yeah, I've got some more cards here for pile three. I'm taking them. Can we have a spirit animal message, please, for pile number one? A spirit animal message for pile number one. A spirit animal message from pile number two. A spirit animal message for pile number two. And a spirit animal message for pile number three. There it is, straight out. Wow. Pile number three. I think there's another card coming out there. Yeah, got back in. Okay. Messages from your person for pile number one. Pile number two. Jump straight on the pile there. I can't get better than that. And pile three, straight out. Okay. So we've got three very clear piles here. Let me just move these down and I'm going to put charms on. So here's the charms, just randomly picking what they guide me to. Randomly picking what they guide me to. Again, more charms coming out here. So what I'm going to do then, instead of doing it with charms, I'm going to use crystals. So we're going to use that one for pile one, that one for pile two, and that one for pile three. So pretty sure that's cherry quartz or something similar for pile one, lapis lazuli for pile two. And then this one for pile number three. So when you're ready, pick your pile. And just to remind you as well that tomorrow on the 1st of September at 4pm, we're going to start a new series called Mother Healing. So if you're going to miss the pick of piles, obviously I'll do them when I'm guided to as well. But I want to just do this, focus on this series because that's what they're guiding me to do. But if you're missing the pick of piles, I do them every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for members of the Angel family or higher level. So, you know, if you want to become a member, it's the perfect time to get extra content for you. And also, people have been asking me about my story. That's where that is. OK, so you've got videos there, me talking about my journey, what happened for me to get into union. Let's do this then. When you're ready, pick your pile. OK, so we're going to start then with pile one. So what we've got here is we've got a beautiful wolf and the wolf is howling at the moon. So telepathy, telepathic connection. I'm sure this charm came out not long ago when I did one of these. So you're being reminded that you always have that 5D link. You know, you're always connecting in many, many ways and you are power. You know, in the cherry quartz as well, you know, if it isn't, do let me know. But I'm feeling that I'm connecting with that anyway. And what I'm feeling is... You know, that you are the cherry on the cake. You are the icing on the cake for your person. You are the ultimate one. So the angel guidance for you is ease and grace. Very powerful. And this message is also coming through from your guardian angel. So your guardian angel is asking you to be at ease with your life, to be at ease with your journey, to be at peace with things, to have grace. You know, you are a divine feminine in power. So be easeful about your life. Be easy with it. Don't rush anything. Take your time. If you're struggling, pray. And the angels will give you that peace and help you to find grace in all situations and to focus on love, to find empathy and compassion within. 
You remember you are communicating telepathically with your twin. You don't need words sometimes. It's already felt. And the message from your spirit animal is cuddle. Cuddle, this is Bombay Energy 16. So the message here is, you know, you can cuddle each other right now on the 5D realm. You don't need to be physically together to feel that love. Yet that love is being manifested and being brought into the physical world. And your guardian angel is cuddling you right now, holding you right now, keeping you safe, helping you to feel more ease and grace in your life, to feel at peace with things, to feel loved. And I can tell you don't trust me and I want to change that. So your person wants to change everything. You know, they want to change the way you see the situation. They are also teaching you, remember, to trust them, to find their way. And you're being guided to trust and believe in the love. But he's saying to you, I know you don't trust me. I want to change that. I'm sorry for the things I've done. I want to be able to come to you and hold you and tell you that it's going to be okay. I want to cuddle you. I want to hold you in my arms. I want to show you the truth. So if you've been asking for help, you know, for your masculine to change to, so you can trust them again. If you've been asking for that, your guardian angel has heard your prayer. And the message is be at ease with your life and journey because the best is yet to come. I hope that helps. OK, you just pop these back. Pile number two, welcome. So you've got lapis lazuli connected with communication. Now we've got this powerful, um, they give, it's a camel, but they're also giving me a giraffe. So giraffes, remember, and they give me a zebra too. And we've had all these animals coming up lately. So the zebra is reminding you that you are unique and special. You know, there's nobody like you. The giraffe is about raising your vibration and seeing things from a higher perspective. And the camel is reminding you that you're storing up what you need. So you have all the wisdom and knowledge within you to understand your journey and mission. And we've got the heart here. And this is also about changes coming in. So this is about knowing your truth and power. So the message from heaven is strength and guidance, harmony and resolution. Wow. So you're receiving strength from above. And guidance about your journey to bring in a harmonious resolution so that things will move forward in an easier way. So the angels are reminding you to be at peace because your journey is moving forward. There is going to be harmony coming in and a peaceful resolution and achievement. So your this is gorgeous because this is a Norwegian forest cat. But this cat is saying to you, be proud of what you've been achieving. You've done good. You know, you are now receiving results and rewards for everything you've been doing. And your person is saying to you, I have options, but I only want you. So, you know, there is people around you and there is people around them, but they only want you. And that's why it's real and true. And it's going to reconcile. It's going to harmonize and come together. And I've been hurt by love before. So he's saying to you, you know, it's nothing to do with you. I've been hurt before. I've just been putting a barrier around my heart because I've never loved like this before. I've never loved anyone the way I love you and I don't want to get hurt again. So this is kind of a message to take it easy. Again, really resonating with the other pile. So the message is communication is coming in. You're receiving all the guidance about that. Trust the love. There's nothing to fear. I hope that helps, okay? Very quick and straight to the point message. Pile three, a lot of protection coming in around you. So, wow, we've got an aeroplane, first of all. So this is powerful because, you know, this has been coming up in the reading. So an aeroplane is about things taking flight and the masculine's coming in to land. So, you know, feeling safe to land, coming towards you. There could also be some travel coming up, could be some connection with planes or an airport here, movement. And we've got the anchor, which is about... Let love, let this love be your anchor. You know, buoy your faith. Don't let anything knock you off your path. And we've got this gorgeous kind of energy of the new moon, a shooting star. You know, they're also giving me an O and a C in that too. Maybe an extra message for somebody there. But I feel this is a big sign about things coming together because, you know, it's all one. There's no gap in this here. There's no gap. And the same mind, the gap. So someone could also be going on a train or a tube. But I feel this is about everything coming full circle and that you are united. And they show me that like a ring too, like an engagement ring. Can you see that there? So I'm seeing this as proposals in the future. 
and completion of old cycles to bring that in. So we've got divine timing. So once again, you're being reminded to have patience because your journey is in divine timing. Forgiveness and understanding. So this is where you are. You've been forgiving things, understanding the connection to move towards joy and contentment. So you've been on a bit of a healing journey and you've had to release things from your life to feel at peace. There's a lot of healing energy coming in with the angels and courage and bravery. You know, you are a knight. That means you are strong and powerful. You are a warrior. And, you know, your person is moving towards you with valor and grace, dignity and strength and nourish. You're ready to nourish this person. You're ready to nourish this love. You are nourishing this love. And your person saying to you, is saying, first of all, I have a lot of gratitude for you. So he's very thankful for you. This, you know, journey is respectful. That means you're both grateful for each other in a very powerful way. But he's saying the whole twin flame stuff sometimes scares me. And that's why you don't need labels. You don't need labels because, you know, they can complicate and confuse things. All you need is love. Forgive me that song. All you need is love. Da, 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 da. All you need is love. So all you need is love. The thought of explaining myself and apologising scares me. I don't want to see the pain I've caused in your eyes. Now, I'm actually feeling two things in this. He may need to apologise to you, but I feel the majority of you tapping in with this, this is about a karmic ending. You know, he doesn't want to cause this person pain who he may have children with or he may have lived with for a long time. Not because he loves that person. He just doesn't like causing pain. He's a nice person. And he's saying, the thought of me getting all of this out and explaining myself, apologising, it really does scare me. But that's not going to hold me back. So I feel this a big message about completion and endings to be able to come to you, maybe on that plane, but definitely with a ring to propose and make this right. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.